What's going on, Coyote Pack? It's a beautiful summer evening here in Columbus, Ohio. The sun just set and the conditions are absolutely perfect for lightning bugs. Now what we're gonna do tonight is teach you how to build a lightning bug lantern. And in order to do that, first we need to find and catch some bugs. So if you guys are ready, let's get the adventure started. Catching lightning bugs is all about patience. You see one flash, and then you lose it. And then you see a flash over there, and you lose it again. Now the tactic I like to use is to follow the flash a couple times, and then turn on my flashlight really quickly, and swipe it up with the net. Take some patience, take some practice, take some precision. I missed them. That wasn't very agile. No. These are, these are some advanced lightning bugs for sure. There are over 2,000 species of fireflies throughout our planet. Now, they live on every continent except for Antarctica. In North America specifically, there are 150 different species of lightning bugs. Tonight, we are after the Eastern lightning bug, arguably the most common species that you have here in the United States. Got him. Our little catch container is beginning to light up. It's really all about having great aim and hand-eye coordination once you see the lightning bugs. Now, I thought I'd be able to use the flashlight to light up the bugs once I saw them. That actually scares them away and they become even harder to catch. That catch container's got a lot of action going on in it. Got another one right in front of us. Here we go. Okay, I've got about 10 in the net. Couldn't tell you how many inside the capture jar. I think it's time to build the lightning bug lantern. And we're back. Now, before we get into building our lightning bug lantern, first, let's talk a little bit about lightning bugs. Or are they fireflies? That's a great question. Now, both terms technically are completely fine. However, these insects are not flies, but in fact are true beetles. Now, there are hundreds of thousands of beetle species worldwide, and tonight we have caught the Eastern lightning bug. This is without question the most common species you're going to find in your backyard if you live in Ohio, Michigan, Indiana, Tennessee, Kentucky, West Virginia, or the Carolinas. This is the insect you are going out seeing lighting up the night sky. Now, these bugs are rather unique, and I would wager to say that the lightning bug has no humans that are actually afraid of it. Humans seem to love lightning bugs, and I say the reason for that is that they are completely friendly. They have no stinger and no biting mouth parts. So if something can't bite you and it can't sting you, why would you be afraid of it? It's a completely safe species to interact with. Now, the lightning bug has a very interesting life cycle. Like most beetles, when the male and female breed, the female then goes down to the ground and lays her eggs. Those eggs then hatch into larvae. The larvae buries down into the soil and will spend up to two years feasting off different little microorganisms that it comes across. After they go through the larva stage, they go through metamorphosis and then hatch into more lightning bugs. And what's crazy is that when the males and females come up out of the ground between the months of June and September to start their breeding dance, they only live for between five and 30 days. Can you imagine that? A life cycle that lasts for nearly two years underground and only a month above ground. And what's unique about their breeding cycle is that it's one of the most celebrated insect gatherings in the world. In fact, there are some locations where people will actually gather together to see the spectacle that is lightning bugs lighting up the night sky. Now let's answer what's likely your most pressing question. How do lightning bugs glow? It's something called bioluminescence. Bioluminescence has a rather lengthy scientific definition. I could give you that entire definition and it would go on and on and on and be long-winded, but for the sake of this video, we're going to give you the short definition. Bioluminescence is a chemical reaction that happens within an organism's body that causes light. The reason it causes light is that these insects have a molecule inside of them known as luciferin. That luciferin, when it mixes with the oxygen, has a reaction that causes light, hence the fact that they light up the night sky. Now, like all insects, lightning bugs have three basic body parts, a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. You can see a little yellow pocket. That is where the luciferin is stored. 
Now, when the lightning bug isn't glowing, it just looks as if it's a pale yellow. When the lightning bug lights up, that's exactly where the glow is coming from. And when it comes to lightning bugs, the abdomen is actually referred to as the lantern, which will perfectly transition us into the next part of tonight's video, how to build your lightning bug lantern. First thing in is the grass. Nice fresh grass, good and green. Doing this outdoors is usually advisable because some of the lightning bugs will probably get away in the process. And if some of them escape, don't worry, they're just gonna head right back off into the environment. Next, I'm going to drop in a few leaves. Remember, these leaves provide the opportunity for the lightning bugs to hide and take shelter, especially during the day. These insects love to stay hidden and out of sight. Now, the last little piece you need from nature is a couple of twigs. I pick twigs that have a bunch of different little branches on them so that the lightning bugs feel as if they have a jungle gym. That gives them something to climb around on and to perch on. It's a little easier to get purchase on a twig than it is the side of a plastic or a glass container. Whew. Okay, this is it. Time to add our lightning bugs. This process is a little difficult. And remember, you want to be gentle with your lightning bugs. Now, they are going to crawl around inside your plastic catch container. So what I recommend is just gently tapping on the surface to get them to drop down into the basin. Okay, there we go. So what I'm going to do is slowly begin to transfer some of my lightning bugs, if I can, one at a time. Oh boy, they're really wanting to crawl out in a hurry. If you can get them to come out and onto the edge of the container like this, you can almost funnel and gently feed them down and into your lantern. There we go, there's one there, in you go. Everybody in! Oh, that one's getting away! Jimmy, no! I named that one Jimmy. Oh, losing one there. That's okay, and remember, if some escape in the process, that's completely, oh no, I'm spilling them! Oh, they're getting away, this isn't good. Oh, they're getting away. In you go, in you go. That's why we catch as many as possible. I wasn't able to count every single one that I got, but I would say I was close to 35 or 40. Oh, Billy, get in there. Get in there, Billy. Now, that's one of the real challenges. Can you actually name all of your lightning bugs that you catch? Susie, get in there. Tammy, Deborah. Oh, I missed. In you go, in you go. There we go. Wow, that's actually pretty impressive. I would say I got 95% of my lightning bugs into the actual lantern. Look at that, our jar looks fantastic. Grass, leaves, twigs, and lightning bugs. Now the very last thing that you wanna use is your little piece of bendable wire. This is how you actually complete the lantern by making a little handle. Check this out. I'm gonna put a little twist in it there. This piece comes around the side and tucks in like this. There we go, twist that around like that. Good and secure. Get this on this side. Now, if you're working with wire, it may not be a bad idea to have your parents help you a little bit. You don't wanna prick yourself on the end of that. There we go. The handle is nice and secure. And there you have it. Your very own summer lightning bug lantern. Now, it is important to note that this is not a species that you want to keep forever. Remember, they have a very short life cycle. What I recommend is going out just before sunset to catch your lightning bugs. Build your container outside, get it set up just like this, take it inside, place it next to your bed before you tuck in, and you're going to have the perfect lightning bug nightlight. Wake up in the morning, take them with you to breakfast, admire them during the afternoon, then head back out to the exact same location towards sunset and release them back into the wild so they can continue on with their breeding. Now, if you guys get the chance to head out this summer and build your very own lightning bug lantern, make sure to tag me on social media, at Coyote Peterson, and I'll do my best to like and watch all of the videos and maybe even some comments on the success that you guys have with catching lightning bugs. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild, We'll see you on the next adventure. All right, lightning bugs, let's go see if we can get you to light up. Hey, Coyote Pack, if you thought building a lightning bug lantern was a fun summer project, make sure to go back and watch the episode where we showed you how to build your very own worm farm. Look at all those Slimers, aren't they glorious? And don't forget, subscribe and join memberships so you can follow along on our next wild adventure. Here you go, buddy. Yes! Burger. There you go. There it is! There it is!
Thank you. Thank you. That is one mm, melty, cold, and delicious reward. Yeah. Be brave around needles, kids. <laughs>